Last time on Newbieweds. You look so real. Try it, Shuichi. Pook, pook. Pook, pook. I don't know why I said pook, pook. Pookie? Oh, pookie. Uh, come on, wait up. You're too slow. Chili dogs. No? Let me touch your body a little. I've always wanted to be friends with a robot. What? A robot? A robot. Oh, but I'm not a magician. <laughs> Hello. And welcome back to Newbie Weds. Last time, we were speaking to all the people. And we had just spoken to, 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 to Mui. Oh my god. It's a, 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 okay, there's a high jump bar that we can click on. This looks like a high jump pole for track and field. I didn't expect to see professional equipment like this here. It's a school. What are you expecting? RC helicopter, a shot put ball, a shot put a ball for toy. track and field. Does this place even have a sports stadium? That's a, that's a drone, not an RC helicopter. What the fuck? A remote controlled helicopter. What's this doing in a school warehouse? A there are hurdles too. We could hold our own track and field meets with all this equipment. These mats are pretty heavy. It must be a lot to work. To a lot of work to carry these to the gym. Is that everything? I guess so. There's something up. That's weird, right? Yeah. I'm getting you used to like the new investigate mode as well. You know? Mm. It's a bit different. Again, this game is like massive from the get go as well, right? Yeah. But there's so much going on here. I got so fucking concerned right there. <laughs> So what was that noise? Um, is this door going to be locked or something? End of hallway. No, it's just a new area. Oh, wow. Uh, is it just water? This looks fucking Digimon as shit. Yeah. Right? Like the thing. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. It being black and white. Mm, yep. It might, oh, it might be the kids, the uh, the ultimate leaders, whatever, supreme leader, because he had a checkerboard thing. Mm. I guess this doesn't open. It looks like somewhere else. Let's look somewhere else. Jesus. Okay. Uh, hmm. There's a lot of stuff here. Is there any secrets and stuff? Mm-hmm. It's just weird looking like there's this weird mix of like nature and then future stuff and then yeah. traditional stuff. Gym. Is this the gym? Huh? Huh? It won't open. It seems like we can't go to the gym. What's the matter? Okay, she pretty much said that line. No. It's not. No. <laughs> just the way he says no. It's nothing. I just feel strange. Strange? How so? You ever get that feeling of deja vu? Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever get that feeling of deja vu? Like, I feel like I've been here before. We'll be caught up in something even stranger than we imagined. Oh, well, it's it's natural to feel unsettled when we know so little about what's going on. Yeah. But we'll probably be fine. Um, what makes you say that? Because, because we have 16 ultimate students on our side. You are all going to murder each other. As long as we work together as friends, I just know nothing bad will happen. Friends? Right, that's weird. Uh, so where else are we meant to go? Right? Mm -hmm. Can we get back in here now? Um, I guess this doesn't open. Yeah, 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 okay. I know, like, I'm looking at the map and be like, we've been everywhere, right? Right? Mm, we've met everyone. Know. I'm just like, have we met everyone? Because you're there. Met you. Have we been in the... We haven't been in the money room, have we? The school store? No. Oh, okay. Guess this doesn't open. What's the point? Okay. 
Was there another? There's a dot here, and I don't know who that is. Hmm. That's where we've been up. That's the toilet. Oh! Oh, we couldn't go through here before, right? Like, the iron gate opened. Okay, we are making progress then. Did someone open for us? Let's check it out. Right, is it going to be people that we've already met? Oh, is this the entrance hall? Right, Shuichi, this must be the entrance wall hall, don't you think? Uh, okay. I forgot I had lines to read. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. Which means... South. Mm -hmm. That door must be the entrance. If we walk right through it, we can escape this place, right? That's not going to happen, is it? Well, I don't think we should open doors carelessly. It could be a trap. Don't worry. That isn't necessary. I've already examined the doors. Uh, oh, uh... Yeah. You wonder, who is this? Yes, I shall make that clear, then. What? Okay. What does that mean? Korakio, anthropologist. Please call me Kyo. It makes it a lot easier on the people playing this video game. <laughs> As for anthropology, would you like a simple explanation, Jan? Okay, sure. Anthropology. Studies, customs, legends, folk tales, songs. And much more. There may even be customs in your daily life, the origins of which you do not know. For example, certain aspects of birthdays or New Year celebrate. It sounds like fucking David Amber, I just realized. Anthropology sheds light on traditions and customs, such as through rigorous analysis. It is a study that examines the thoughts behind culture, bear, and customs. Faith. Mm -hmm. Huh? It said faith. That's what I said. You said fair. Fair. What? The boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I sort of get it, but not really. Uh, it sounds like a lot of fun, though. That's true. Well, of course it's fun. It's a study yes. on humanity. Oh. I believe that human beings are creatures who possesses infinite beauty. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I love what. Oh, wait, what the fuck is this? Um, wait, if I hold right click! Friendly, hostile, confirm, refute. Confirm? Hmm. No, that's wrong. Oh my god! I can. There's an on. There's an on demand. That's wrong button. Friendly, confer. Oh, that's weird. Do I wait? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's weird. So I just go. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mm -hmm. I find the worst ways of many, even the ugly parts, to be beautiful. I forgot I was doing a voice. <laughs> Our present situation is rather intriguing. What beauty will I be able to witness here? <laughs> People are wonderful. This guy looks like a creep, and it turns out he is one too. He's a weirdo. Like that song. Anyway, we can go outside if we just go through these doors, right? You should find the answers to such questions on your own. The moment your hopes are shattered, that too may be beautiful. Uh, no. Shattered? What does he mean by that? I'm, I'm very concerned about what this whole ro hold right click circle yeah. is. Is someone going to tell us? Chat, can you explain? We're like three episodes in and we're just realizing that there's a thing here for holding right click. So if I hold right click now, does it do it? No, it just shows, toggles the map. Right, so there's that there. Okay, so we've just got to go through here, right? Yeah. Should we 
Okay. Then let's go. Okay. Okay. Determined as I was, I just couldn't muster the courage to take the first step forward. To be honest, I was scared because what if beyond this is just... Oh, jeez, this isn't like me. She said that's wrong. Just because I'm scared doesn't mean I'm going to run away. I got to move forward. Are you okay? Are you okay? Cade. Kide? Kide. <laughs> Don't worry Kide? about it. Let's go, Shuichi. Why is yours such a hard name to pronounce? I psyched myself up, and when you found strength, walked boldly towards the door. Boldly. God. Boldly? boldly? She, she lost her hair. Right, is this going to be... Upon opening indoors? the doors, we were immediately greeted by... Either giant robots or monocubs. Blue skies. Bright sunlight. Is what I wish I could say. Gentle wind. And... A cage. <laughs> oh, even the outside is a giant dome. A cage? A wall? A wall? But we're, both words were accurate. What stood before us was both a cage and a wall. Either way, the enormous wall struck a terrifying chord. The mere sight of its imposing presence was enough to send waves of panic through I me. love Attack on Titan. No matter where we looked ahead, beyond, above, or all around, Cage surrounded the entire school. What is this? We're trapped? Yep. What's going on? Monocubs, explain, I assume. Oh, uh, here we go. I can't believe there's five of these assholes now. Uh, surprised about the cage, huh? I totally understand how you feel. The first time I saw it, my teeth and fingernails fell out. That's not a healthy way to react to surprise. <laughs> ah, it's so awesomely huge. I can see why it's called the end wall. End wall? Normally, walls are erected to separate two places, right? But that wall is different. It represents the end of the world. What are you talking about? The end of the world. What uh, What were we talking about? Ah, uh, was someone talking? Was I talking? <laughs> yeah, boy, he said he just started yeah. laughing. Stop laughing and explain yourselves. There's nothing to explain. This is simply how it is, so please don't bother. You can't get out of here. That wall has no entrance or exit, and it cannot be climbed or demolished. Well, actually, well, we could probably climb it our way, but most of the time it's impossible. But they can still sort of climb it, huh? I took a deep breath and shouted at the wall as loud as I could. Right, is that going to work? Someone help us! Please help us! Um. <laughs> Someone, anyone, please help us. We're trapped inside this huge cage. Beep, Why are they beep, beep. I don't know. I shouted as loud as I could, but for all my shouting, there was no response. Uh, please stop your throat. Yeah, scream all you like. No one can hear you anyway. No one can hear us? What do you mean? What do you mean no one can hear us? Beep beep, I'm a robot. Say something! Especially the robot that hasn't said anything yet. <laughs> what have you just answered? Especially the green one that's just staring at me! <laughs> just stop fucking staring at me if you don't say anything! <laughs> Madam is ignoring them excellently because he refuses to open his heart. <laughs> You can thank my fist of bullying for making that happen. Now, now, let's all get along. Dumbass. Shut up. We're the monocups. We need to be tough and whatnot. Well, what is this? These things, this school, what is all this? You bastards, I'll have to use your legs, hands, and eyes to find that out for yourselves. But please watch your step while you explain. Or the school is still under construction. Huh? Under construction. I looked around. I love the music in the background, by the uh, way. I'm just vibing, oh, right? That's so great. I love that. Like, this is their theme. Like, yeah. This is the Monocubs theme, I guess. It was true. Some areas did seem as if they were still under construction. 
Oh, I just realised. Yeah. It's like the like the normal theme is like mixed in, yeah. like the melody. Yeah, yeah. Diddly do. Yeah. Diddly do. Do. So I'm just listening to the tunes uh, I was now. I'm trying to figure out what she was doing. Yeah, I'm just like keying into the music. God, where's the music? Is there a music analysis channel for Dang and Romper songs? <laughs> oh Someone done God. that yet? Because I need, I need it. Did you read this bit? Yeah, I, I, I already I read out. it. Sorry. It looks like they're still building some of the facilities here. Also, the kids okay? Because I came in again. Oh, I was reading I, lunch. She wanted to make pack a lunch, and she was asking if she could take some of the dumplings. Oh, bless. <laughs> Are they still in the middle of building this school? I kind of want some of those dumplings now. No. <laughs> I don't <sighs> think so. Oh. It's more like they're renovating an abandoned school. <laughs> I thought she was you telling me that. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> the way the construction will finish soon, once we set the exosols on autopilot. Oh. Oh, the exosols. I almost forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The giant fucking mechs. Huh? Do you think they have really big dicks? I was drinking. <laughs> what the fuck? Exosols. Oh. What's wrong? If I get exosols, that one construction to support their wives and kids. That's, that's wrong. wrong. No, that's wrong. Okay. That's wrong. No, that's wrong. that's wrong. What? What is the purpose of that? It's like confirm on one side, refute on the other, and then like uh, hostile and friendly. Like, and there's like two layers to this circle. Yeah. So suddenly you have one, two. Three, four, five, six, like eight segments, mm -hmm. you know? Well, actually, no, because, yeah, I think, yeah, like ten, because, like, these two are different to what this one is. Yeah. Actually, no, it's more than that, because, oh look, my God. I get it. You're right. Yeah. Okay, so it's three. Huh. That's so weird. So there's 14 options of response. I'm, I'm going to assume your response is bases off something to do with the game. I don't know. It's just someone will say. Do robots really need that kind of backstory? Their steering wheels are leopard print and their dashboards are lined with arcade prizes. Seriously, knock it off, guys. They sound like douchebags with backstories like those. So they're making it up. So long, farewell. Oh my, yeah, bear well. It's a and bear pun. And there they go again, but more importantly. There they go again on their own. <laughs> go down the only road they've ever known. Is what they said really true? We can't escape. We can't go over that wall. And no one's coming to rescue us. Rumbling. But if I give up now, then what? What was that? I don't know. <laughs> I slapped both my cheeks. <laughs> she did what? The front cheeks, not the back cheeks. I was like, and what? as my face I was looking away and I'm like, what? <laughs> she did and as what? I grew my face, as I as my face grew warm, if I could feel growing, my determination. Her cheeks are getting slapped. What the fuck is going on, Jesus? Hey, you she, she, well, this is why you don't need to be reading the protagonist lines, because this is just getting weird. Let's go see if we can find a way out. See if we can find a way into those cheeks. I mean, Slapped him upside his head just firm enough to get his attention. What the fuck? She loves to touch yeah. people. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> She's very touchy. Should we What are you doing? You got like, your arms all wrapped in your shirt? My arms are cold. Then put the blanket on that's directly behind you. That would be too much warmth. <laughs> I, I'm just holding my head, guys. <laughs> I'm literally my head is in my hands. I'm I'm not great at motivating others, but we can't give up just because of a wall. We can in some way, or so there has to be an exit. Yeah, that's right. We may not be able to escape now, but we'll do it eventually, somehow. Spoilers: It was air dropped in. Yeah. Everyone just has to cooperate if we all want to get out of here. Honey, this is a dang and romper game. That ain't gonna work. Yeah, that's right. It's too early to give up. It's too early. Oh, boy. So that's back into the school. Oh, my God. So how? Oh, my God. There's going to be just a whole other buildings. We're still not done. We're like still in like just learning the layout. Who are you? Oh, you was like the guy that was in the middle. Who are you? Jeez. How do they even make this big ass wall? Seriously, I just don't get it. 
I wonder what will happen now. If we can't escape, then... Why well, are you complaining? Quit complaining and grumbling. Or return to a habit. Besides, this cage is only compared to the vastness of the universe. Huh? The universe? The universe! It was I only introduced myself yet. My bad. That was not what I was expecting him okay. to be at all. How the fuck does he fit that hair inside a spacesuit? <laughs> That's what, how is he? The, the guy with the most spiky hair in the game is the astronaut. How about it? I'm an astronaut. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I've never been to space, so I don't know much about it. <laughs> I, never, I don't know. I've never been there. Well, I care. Well, of course. Not just anyone can get up there. To infinity and beyond and shit. Apart from that's copyright, so I can't say that. I may be an astronaut, but I'm actually still in training. I mean, you're an ornament. Yeah. Oh, so you're still a trainee. Well, the first teenager to ever pass the exam. I mean, normally, you need a college degree to even take the exam. Huh? Then how'd you take the exam? By being an ornament, I assume. I had a friend who was pretty crafty, so I had him forge some stuff for me. That's illegal. That's illegal! Crime! <laughs> I gotta pee so no, bad. I am getting caught. I was in a pretty deep shit. Great, it's another pee, one that's gonna start speaking about shit. Then go pee. Are you sure? Yes. I'm reading his lines. I'll just... Read them in. very just... slow. But the people up top decided they liked me. And let me in anyway. Because I aced the exam too. Reckless girl voice. Sometimes you gotta be a little reckless to make your dreams a reality. No way I can wait till after college. I want to get to space as fast as I can. You sure have a lot of energy. Yeah, everyone told me it was impossible, but I never gave up. Not for a moment. That's because limits don't exist unless you set them yourself. There's no walls you can't get over. Apart from the wall here, that we probably can't get over. But that's a different kind of wall than I want about. Like this one I want about more like a metaphorical wall instead of an actual physical wall. But anyway, the same goes for that one. Oh, it does go for that one. So do you have any ideas? Is it to build a fucking rocket? That's not the problem! Uh, no, that is the problem. Jesus, guy, Sean talks a big game. Go voice. Port guard, okay. That was the quickest piss you've ever done. I need to read like one of your lines. Oh no. Dormitory. Ready to go to the dormitories? The derms. The derms. Good night. <laughs> you got lines. This building is round and has a lot of smaller rooms inside. Oh, this is the the, the gonna be the living areas. Cause look at the doors, they all have the little yeah, the dorms, the, the dormitory, like, the dorms. Yeah, yeah, but the fact that before it's been like called a hotel in both the previous games. Uh, like in okay. both previous yeah. games, it was a hotel. Like yeah. in the first game, it was like the spare hotel. And in the second one, it was like an actual hotel like thing. So this is like an actual school dorm. Very nice. Uh, Why, hello, bear? It said hello there. Hello there. That said hello bear. Yes, instead of hello there. It's a pun. Oh. It's a bear pun. I thought you'd be used to the fucking bear puns every no, 10 minutes with this yet. damn franchise. We've played like five fucking installments. Played a few of them and what? <laughs> We've done like all the installments. It's Danganronpa 5, but it's actually Danganronpa 3-3. Three, three. So Danganronpa, it goes Danganronpa 1, Danganronpa 2, Danganronpa 3, Danganronpa 3. Danganronpa 3, there's actually 5. And Danganronpa 3 is actually 4. So Danganronpa V3 is actually 3, there's actually 5. Don't you just love this franchise? Yeah. Sorry to intrude. What is it this time? And why do you mean? What do you mean by intruding? Because this is your home, you bastards! <laughs> you bastards! <laughs> you bastards! You really are the most devious bastards in Dangan Rompa. We finished setting up the showers. There you gotta go pee. Oh, okay. Why don't they just use the toilets? They're not finished yet. Are you for number two? Wait, do you go number two in the shower? In gross. What the fuck? Uh, no, they just okay. show up, do their shit, and then leave. 
Well, what do you mean our home? They mean for us to live here? There are 16 doors. Perhaps a room for each. Well done. He really is the Orma detective, isn't he? Yeah. I don't plan on staying here long enough to need a room. Right. Are you the ultimate maid? Or some shit? Housekeeper? Huh. She's got like a cobweb or something on her. Yeah, she's, yeah, like, she's, a, a, she's like a gothic maid. Yeah, she's got a cobweb on there. She's got like these bat almost on her neck thing. Mm. I like this. Yeah. It's a cool design. I fail to see their objective. Huh? What do you mean? If they're holding us for ransom, a large facility such as this would be unnecessary. Furthermore, I gather they would rather care for us than hurt us. In light of this, I fail to see the true objective of the culprits responsible for kidnapping us. Culprits? Huh. I never even thought about that. Why would our cat kidnappers go to all this trouble? Sixteen ultimate students have been gathered here, but why? What's the reason? Pardon me. I have not introduced myself yet. She's very soft-spoken. Yeah, well, I'm giving her mommy vibes, so... Mm, okay. You know. <laughs> I thought she... I'd say I was, it's very obvious which one she is. Yeah. What her ultimate is. Wow, the ultimate maid sounds like a really cool talent. Oh, no, she's very good at dusting things. How special. Wait, I've heard of... I can't remember. How uh, is it? Kurumi, Kurumi Tojo. Kurumi Tojo? Tojo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> And the one with an incredible intellect and strength. Working as a private maid. I heard uh, work is so perfect, she could complete any request given to... Like what? Like walking on the ceiling? Water into wine? Is she Jesus? Wait. She's that amazing? Please. You are exaggerating. I will not complete any request that is asked of me. I, understand. I get it. Okay. I don't know what this does. I'm hoping I it does good once things. received a request to annihilate a rival nation, but it was impossible. I rejected it. But being requested to do that is pretty impressive on its what own. What the fuck? I thought she was a maid. Is she a spy as <gasps> well? Or? She's a black butler. Oh my god, she is a black butler. <laughs> she really is the black butler. I'm simply one hell of a butler. <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me that she's um just be gender bent Sebastian? Yeah. Okay. I've also heard that she's been hired as a bodyguard to several foreign dignitaries. I have only been employed as a maid, not a bodyguard. It really is Sebastian. Like, I am just a butler, although I will beat the shit out of anyone that comes <laughs> near this child. It really is. Yeah. But you've been hired by so many important people. You're like a super maid. Moving on, what do you intend to do now? Uh, that's a tough question. Uh, what should we do? What would you do, Kurumi? I hold no opinions or desires of which to speak. As a maid, my only desire is to fulfill the desires of others. I am going to unzip so quickly. Oh, God. Same. So please think about what you desire for yourself and what you desire for me. Okay. I don't know how much fat not there is of this character already. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Just based off that line, I'm like, oh boy. No matter the situation, no matter what happens, I am here to serve everyone, okay? Oh, there's going to be so much porn of this character, isn't there? Oh, Lord. Even in this situation, she's more concerned for others. Well, she is the ultimate maid after all. Is that everyone now? <laughs> Like just looking at the thing, yeah, we met you, met you, met you, met you, met you. Uh, I don't think we met this person. Uh, that's the detective. So there's that guy, the hairy guy with red eyes. That's is that that's the maid. That's her. That's so there's like one guy left, I think. Right. Mm. Oh, maybe you. I don't think we met you either. Can we go into our room? Boop, 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 boop. I don't plan on staying here long enough to need a room. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Hey. See, okay. Click on all these, but they're all going to say the same thing. 
Let's go. Maybe things have changed now. Kind of want to just get to the the bit now where we're done with this, exploring the school bit in now, you know? Yeah. Again, there's... Ha. Huh. Hmm. I bet that's going to open up at some point later Probably. on, isn't it? It looks like a castle from here. You see? Yeah. Okay, I guess we'll just go uh, this way. I bet the last couple of people must be down this way then. Yes, the the big the big long haired dude. Whoa, this luck guy looks crazy. He's so big and muscular. That's uh, scary, not excuse crazy. Excuse me. Oh. Huh? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Huh? huh? Thank you. Sorry. Uh, sorry for scaring. God, they're scary looking. Oh, fuck's sake, it's one of these speech patterns. Oh. Most people not want to talk to Gunter when speaking, when meeting for the first time. Me caveman. Me <laughs> big bang stick. Go boom boom. So, like gentlemen, Gunter say thank you. Thank you for talking to Gunter. Uh, thank you for being so You're welcome. Oh, no, God. He looks scary, but he doesn't seem very scary at all. Oh, right. Gonta needs to make introduction. Me Gonta. <laughs> okay. Gonta want to become gentlemen. Gonta very polite. Okay. I like Gonta. Gonta is nice. Be more like Gonta. Oh, so you're Gonta. That's a really good yes. name. Gonta's name Gonta, because me Gonta. Me Gonta get some of that ass. <laughs> <laughs> really? Thank you. Aw, oh, you're actually pretty nice. Silly me for being so scared at first. Gonta, scary looking, huh? Oh, sorry, that's not what I... No, it's okay. Gonta used to it. Gonta called scary since he was kid. Since you were a kid, huh? Yes. Kid Gonta bigger than other kids. Other kids scared of Gonta. Gonta keeps speaking like this whole time. Tire Gonta voice actor out. <laughs> Gonta. So kid play Gonta alone. That's how Gonta come to like bugs. But when Gonta really focus, it really is lose track. One day, Gonta go to forest to find bugs. End up lost. Now me caveman. Uh, that sounds rough. Is that seriously? Is it literally gonna be like fucking kid got lost in the jungle? But yeah. it's actually he's just autistic and really likes insects. Were they able to find you right away? Took ten years. Okay. <laughs> Ten years. Ten years. But Gonta, fine. New family take care of Gonta. Raised by cockroaches. Uh, I see. Uh, I'm glad they were nice people. They not people. They insects. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, they was wolves. Okay. I thought they was gonna be insects. That they was gonna do the raised by wolves things, but because he's a, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like my mother is a centipede. <laughs> not people. Wolves. That explains so much. Oh, mother's a cockroach named Matarakan. <laughs> oh my god, mommy! <laughs> the alternate has come full circle with the mommy joke. Matara is one day going to be our friend and watch this. <laughs> and we're going to be like, in a Discord call, watching this exact clip. And this is going to be really meta if this does happen now. Future me, I hope this isn't awkward. <laughs> it really is, It's huh? always awkward. Wolves! <laughs> If the, I just imagine if that ever does happen now, it's going to be so much worse. Uh, <laughs> so much worse for making these jokes. But they're really nice. Because of, of Forest Family, Gonta learned to speak bug and animal. But thanks. Gonta want to show Forest Family what great gentleman Gonta is. Um, how is becoming a gentleman going to thank them for that? This place strange, huh? Lots of plants, but no bugs. Wait, really? It's supposed to be understandable. Ah, I suppose it's understandable that there are no animals, but no insects? That's strange. Not even one bug. You like bugs too? Me be friends. No, no. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Oh, What's God. your favorite bug? What do you like about them? <laughs> I, I, I was saying that I'd like bugs or anything. Then oh, you no. hate bugs. Oh, no. Me smash. Oh, no. What? You hate bugs. Um, you don't hate bugs. You love them, right, Shuichi? Yeah, yeah, of course I do. I love bugs. Thank goodness. 
Okay, that's good. No bad person likes bugs. I really like this character. Uh -uh. He's really fun. I think this is a great idea. That was scary. You, yeah. I thought you were going to die. I thought I was going to die. Honestly, I can't stand bugs either, but it might be best to hide that. I think he's pretty chill. Uh, What the fuck is this? Oh, I can't go that way. Okay. Mm. Let's look at this weeb shit. Is this a ninja statue? It looks like one. But why is this here? Seriously, there are so many odd things. Right, yeah, that's the odd thing. The, the ninja statue. Right. Oh, look, another area that's that's blocked off for us to go to. Like, it's a lab. Looking at that icon. Hmm. Ah, ultimate pharmacy kind of thing going on, you know? Yeah. Right, so what is this? This will be the last person thing, because I don't think there's anywhere else we can really go after this, you know? Hmm. So last person. Reveal yourself. There's a waterfall. Yes. Anyway, who are you? Lady. Ah, who are ya? Oh, she's, she's a French hippie. F Artist. Oh my god, she has the cute little mouth thing. Um, you're pretty cheerful. She's a bit too happy considering the situation we're in right now. <laughs> There's no reason to carry bad thoughts with ya. Live, live every day like it's bright, cheery, and fun. She definitely has a live, laugh, love sign. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Atua. Okay. Huh? Uh, two of? Like the fucking Bionicles? It's that Hawk Tua for you. <laughs> I like how we went very different. You was a Hawk Tua. And I'm like, <laughs> Atua? Like, isn't Atua like the fucking th the masks from Bionicles? <laughs> the legendary Bionicles of the Atua. The god of my island, Atua, is, is Bionicles! Speaking to me with his divine voice. Oh, well, she certainly. I swear, both. this is actually a bit like Bionicles tie in. She's actually just saying all this shit as if it's a real place, but it's actually just like some kind of bionicle thing. Uh, do you specialize in painting or sculpting? Uh, hmm, I do both. I paint paintings and I sculpt sculptures. But I too, as the one who makes the art, I merely offer my body as his vessel. Oh, okay. So divine. Yeah, divine. I uh, see, that's interesting. If you don't mind, can you show me some of your artwork? In return, I will you make an offering. An offering? Uh, Every Monday and Wednesday morning on my island, a truck comes to collect offerings. Uh, that sounds oddly similar to putting out the trash for pickup. Don't worry, don't worry. When I say offering, I just mean a pint or two of your blood. Don't worry. Um, I'm a bit anemic, so I'll pass. What about you then? Yes. Ah, uh, me? Yes. I love how she speaks for him. Boy's blood is also an acceptable offering. Nice. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. I won't hurt one bit. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. No, don't wait a minute. Come on. <laughs> don't run away. I do have a thing for chicks that say that. So. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, I'm here with you, aren't I? Mentally, are you okay? Oh, no. <laughs> Have you seen who I'm married to? Yeah, she's pretty great. This uh, girl is so weird. Why did you just say my life? And the one in the game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. I love her. She's so quirky. Yeah. And then there's Gonta. I love the quirky characters that are different. And the cosplay and ding dong, cool. bing bong. Oh, oh, fuck no. your life. Oh, Was boy. The bell? Okay, look, the monitor. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, look at the little cheapies of them. Yeah. Oh, they're like all dangling. And this is. Oh, that no, looks a little bit no. familiar. Uh, this is the voice. Huh? This no. is the voice. What? The line. What about it? 
read it. Well, who? Which one is that one? Well, that's what I was saying. I was pointing out the specific color on the on the words. Oh, the pink. That's so fine, the, but I wasn't pink. reading the line because I'm noticing the dangling characters. I just said that. That looks very familiar, don't you think? Oh! There you go! Noah! <laughs> also, there's a weird spiral, like despair spiral, because oh, yeah. spirals are also despair thingy. Hi! He thinks for bear things. You bastards! Camp you bastards waiting, huh? All right! Can everyone make your way to the gym, please? The open ceremony can finally begin. Phew. We finally finished our preparations. Hey. hey. Uh, do you realize you just read your lines backwards, don't you? <laughs> what? What? I don't know. But the fact that we're getting it, so many of these. Gym. Gym. Oh, open hell. ceremony. <laughs> this is going to keep happening, isn't it? Yeah. Hey. We should, uh, what should we do? What should we do? Uh, go, of course. Everyone else is probably doing the same thing. True, but I'm a little worried about this. Well, I'm not a little worried. I'm very worried. Oh. Our new ice friend is already gone. No, come back here. Well, I mean, both of us said no, so. I don't know, but like, I mean, I said yes. <laughs> not my fault that my character's an idiot. So, the gym, which was locked before. The gym. So, every, yeah, everyone's gone. Right. I can't remember where the gym is, though. I hope Same I can just... Uh, yeah. Huh? I said samesies. Uh, it's not that one. Where is the gym? Is it on this floor? Is it on this floor? <laughs> I don't know. It isn't that one, is it? The... It isn't the big one, is it? Right? Mm -hmm. That one, oh, there no. you go. It's not this one, is it? It's the one over here, right? I knew it was somewhere like, yeah, gym. Yeah, there you go. Do you know a gym? No, I do not. It is weird now that we've met everyone, though, isn't it? Yeah. All 16 of us have gathered. It's pretty spectacular seeing all 16 of the armors gathered together. You may not be able to be so easygoing for so much longer. Uh, in this situation, it's not a use. It's no use thinking about things. So eventually, Suma Sumugi stopped thinking... Yeah, what's going to happen to us? I bet it'll be a big pain. What voice did I give her even? I don't, <laughs> I don't even remember. What are you looking at? Um, Hamiko, you can use amazing powers, right? Because you're a psychic and stuff, right? Oh, I'm not a psychic. I'm a mage. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. I definitely want to incorporate that into Neo Aikido. Hey, what sort of training do you undergo to gain your awesome powers? Oh, talking about it is too tiring. I love this dynamic. Ugh, you're pretty lazy. Sweet, sweet. Pardon me, but we need to be on our guard. We don't know if and when danger will strike. Don't say that. I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. There's no need to worry. A duo will protect us. She's fucking crazy. Have you heard this bitch? She's fucking speaking about some fucking biological shit. That's a relief. Fucking moron. Fucking hell. Is this... your brain full of weeds or something? It's full of weeds. I'm high as fuck. I'll of yours. Don't worry about it. Ah, Capiche, don't worry yeah, about it. Yeah, don't worry <laughs> about, about it. <laughs> if those teddy bears show themselves again, I'll kick all their asses. Huh? What that? What's wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> just... <laughs> I feel like it's just gonna come to him with this voice every time and it's gonna get me. Listen, hear that. Oh, I think I hear it. It sounds like an engine from a robot anime. Of course. You guys ever seen the Megalion? <laughs> it's gonna be all the... yeah, okay, I was gonna say it's gonna be the Exels, isn't it? 
right? Yeah. Because they said they didn't shop it. Right, so now this is basically just took us to where it was at the first episode, right? Yeah. Yeah, she said there that. There we go. Everyone, behind Gonta! Well, what the hell are these monsters? I don't know how a few of them are actually just immediately ready to fight fucking robots. Yeah. Wow! So cool! They're Exos! Highly Mororator Orleans! Platforms! They got lots of hometown pride too! I can't keep track of these backstories. <laughs> well, whatever they are, they better kill off the Ugos and save me for Uggos. last. The Ugos. 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 Like Ugos. ugly. And save me for last. <laughs> Jeez. Hey. Run, here we go! Why are you concerned about me all of a sudden? Because he called it, it was going to ugly. Hmm, didn't someone say they would kick all their asses? Oh, what the hell? Nobody told me about these! Alright, chill out. No need to panic. We're already not in any danger as long as nobody has any cats or dogs around. If they wanted to kill us, they would have done it by now. With that, Rentaro casually walked up to the Exils. So what do you want from us? You clearly want something. That's what the guns are for, right? Because you all love your guns. You got your guns. Everyone has a right. No one's going to take your guns away. We get to keep your guns. You're going to love your guns. We know the guns. We all like guns, right? Let me guess. You're going to force us to do something. If we don't, we get hurt. Probably by bullets. Ow, my ear. Because of the piercings. No other reason. Well, you have our attention. So what do you want? Well, you're a wise guy. I'll start this up. Listen up. Here's what we want you punk asses to do. <laughs> I am scoring a hundred miles per hour. I'm gonna say, you ready? Well, it's uh, oh, killing game. Okay. What? The fucking green one spoke. Right now, how dare you upstage me? Huh? Shut the fuck up, bitch. Well, wait a second. What did you say? I said, killing game. Let me trans. Like, everyone, can you translate the robot? And he's like, hey, that's racist. If I heard him correctly. Killing game. Killing. Oh, I said it again. God damn it, Mother Dow. I'm going to crush you with this here, Axel. Oh, come on. We don't have time to fight amongst ourselves. Okay. Yeah. If you don't stop fighting, I'm going to crush you with Jesus this here, Axel. Christ. Too much, If this is what you come to, then I will crush the four of you with oh this Oh my god, axisole. they're all idiots. What are you saying? Hey, why are you including me? Oh, it's more appropriate for us to be hostile to each other. Each other? Each other. Each other. Um. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Who are you calling jabroni? Jabroni? What the fuck is going on? Oh my god. <laughs> The, it's just four. It's just five. It's four idiots and a robot. Seriously? Are they gonna get it on right in front of us? <laughs> Are they gonna what? what? Right. I don't think the fucking bionicle is gonna be of much use. Who that? I don't know. My cute little prince. You gotta knock off this awful fighting. Papa? Papi? Mommy? Because that kind of sounds like a hot horror pitched. Oh. It is Monokuma, isn't it? Father? Father, is it you? Papa Kuma! Oh. Papa Kuma! Papi! Papa Kuma, that's cute. Dad! Where are you, Daddy? How the fuck did Monokuma... Who the fuck did Monokuma have sex with? Also, Monokuma gonna have sex! The Daddy. Oh, for fuck's sake. At that moment, the lights in the gymnasium suddenly shut off. I genuinely thought we wasn't actually gonna get Monokuma for, like, the longest time in this game. <laughs> but he's, like, here within the first couple of hours, at least. It took, it took a couple of hours, though, right? Yeah. So you're telling me that somehow Monokuma procreated... Right? That's what you're telling me? Um, he 
He has angel wings. What? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck, Monokuma? <laughs> Why does the voice sound higher pitch? At least it's not the anime voice. Yeah. It's not the gang's. This is definitely the same voice actor, right? For Monokuma the last couple of times? Yeah. It sounds like him. It just sounds like he's doing something slightly different with the voice. Yeah, it's just. It sounds like the same guy doing a higher pitch. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely the same voice. Yep, okay. that's definitely the OG voice. We are so back! I'm sorry, but as soon as we get a poo hoo hoo, I'm going to be so happy. <laughs> Instead of a yuck, yuck, yuck. Again, I, I, the, the, the anime Monokuma voice, I just don't like as much as the game Monokuma voice. You know what I mean? Maybe it's like bias of which one we heard first. Your father's here! I love it how you hear the da 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 da! Ba 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 Another epic entrance from Papa Kuma! I love you, Dad! He's so cool! We've got a whole game with six of these fuckers! <laughs> oh, I can't deal with this! I can't deal with six times! Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, my cute little cubs, you're all so freaking cute! I guess we are doing three and three then. The only reason I can tolerate your tiresome antics is because you're all so cute. See, that's how you know this is a real parent. <laughs> the only re reason I can tolerate you destroying everything <laughs> is because you're so darn cute and adorable. Even when the prologue is going way too long, I'll allow <laughs> it because you guys are cute. In fact, the very first prologue ever was only short because you cutie patooties weren't there. The first pro- oh, they're about the dang and rumpa one prologue? Yeah. Bobs, are you mad at us? Don't be an idiot. I would never get mad at my cute little cub. Jesus, this is not a dynamic I thought we'd be getting. <laughs> that Monokuma's just a dad doing actual, like, single father things. He is mad! But daddy is still cool even when he's angry. Who's the mother? Pops is, is from a planet of handsome bears. They get cooler as they get angrier. It's getting interesting. Super Monokuma, Super Monokuma 2, Super Monokuma 3, and finally Super Monokuma 4. Um. What? Uh, it's it's <laughs> doing the Dragon Ball of Goku turning into a Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. Okay. That's the actual mode name. Okay. So saying Super Monokuma God Super Monokuma is literally saying Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. <sighs> I get that joke. I didn't think that they'd be... How recent is this game? You didn't read it? Uh, she just did. Oh, did she? Yeah. So, again, how has Monokuma got, like, Dragon Ball shit? Why are we doing Dragon Ball references? I don't know. Anyway, I'm not really mad. I'm really not mad. In fact, I gotta admit that I'm actually proud of you guys. You kids really stand out from the rest of the second generation failures in the world. I wonder now if some of the kids in this game are going to be kids of the previous games. That's what I was characters thinking. Now. I actually had already thought like, that. Is there, is but like, I didn't voice it. Is the detective well. going to be a Kirigiri? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And stuff like that. I don't know. Is she going to, is like the ultimate cosplayer who's like this weird is she going to be like Toko and Kamaru somehow child? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cuz she reminds me of those. Isn't um, that a little hard? I'm sure there are some second generation success stories. Is the douchebag character going to be Nagito's kid? Oh, wow, well, yeah. Yeah, but. I can't think of any, though. Um. Right. Right.
What the fuck is this okay. dynamic? What? Huh. What? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know a guy. He's called Monokuma. He invented the fake news. Oh, oh the alternate fa the fact that it said alternate facts and then fake news. Yeah. Bro, what? When did this game come out? Oh. Because these That's references are very up to date. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love embracing my children. They're so cute. I just can't help myself. Usually, ratings will plummet when mascots appear in sequels too much. <laughs> but in this case, ratings are through the roof, all thanks to the cute Monocubs. Well, what is this? What's going on? Another teeny bear appeared. Yes, but that is no ordinary teddy bear. I can see it. The despair and madness swirling around that cursed thing. Whoa, first of all, I'm no teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. Yeah, he said the thing. And show some respect. I'm the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. Headmaster. It appears to be some sort of autonomous robot with a built-in AI, like me. Okay. The axles are different, though. They're brainless buckets of bolts. They're mindless pretty killing machines that can only be controlled by us, the Monocups. Autonomous robots piloting weapon platforms. This is certainly turning into quite the story. Well, that may be, but what I'm worried about is this whole killing game you mentioned. What exactly do you mean? Where's the game? I'm not enjoying myself. It's no fun. And when does the killing happen? Oh, there it is. Hey, he said the line. Oh, I just came. What? What? Uh, what is so amusing? It's just, uh, when I said it before, I kind of just phoned it in, and now I feel awkward. I want you students with your ultimate level talents to participate in a killing game. <laughs> I got too excited on that one. A killing game? Us? Please stop joking. Why would we agree to participate in a killing game? Yeah. You guys don't want to do it? Of course not! Gentlemen not hurt people! Uh, but if you looked around the academy, then you already know, don't ya? The academy is surrounded by a huge wall. You can't escape to the outside world. And as long as we have the Exosols, you can't defy us. So my my prediction is the Exosols are going to fill the, the role of the progression progression blocker like in Danganronpa 2 where yeah. we had the giant robots in that that died every time there was a class trial yep. mm -hmm. in other words I hold the power of life and death over each and every one of you yeah, somehow by doing the trials and each murder that somehow we're going to lower the number of exosols yeah. so what do you say if we don't want to die uh. what voice did I give her she's got the loud voice yeah. hey, you got be kidding me why would friends kill each other who said you guys were friends i just said right now you guys aren't friends at all your enemies ought to kill each other enemies your enemies seeing enemies hmm i still have a lot to learn from father about sarcasm all this talking is bugging the shit out of me. I gotta be on Mona Dam to relieve the stress. <laughs> Poor Mona Dam. But I don't like that. I'm not good with violence or gore or sad situations. Monami. Wait, no, but Monami's supposed to be sister. Yeah. And Monami. Okay, anyways. Um, Daddy, instead of killing him, could we do a rock, paper, scissors tournament? Who we'll play a game where no one dies? Well, oh, that's Monokuma. That got me confused. Uh, well, you do have a compassionate personality. It's so cute, and I can barely stand You're just it. just like your mother. Right? <laughs> Why, it's cute enough to eat. Cute enough that I want to eat it. <laughs> hey. hey, Monfany, you might want to dial back the cute shtick a bit. 
I'm clicking. Oh. <laughs> Quill it with the stupid banter. I want to ask something. How are we supposed to kill each other? Are you going to give us weapons? What the hell, man? Why are you asking? We need to get information from them first. We can't do anything if we don't know anything. No way. Weapons, huh? What kind of barbaric display are you envisioning? You couldn't be more wrong. Why the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles? The killing game is quite the refined, sophisticated experience. Sophisticated experience. Yeah. Uh, here the killing game is punctuated by class trials. Class trials. Oh, I forgot we have to explain all this every time, don't we? Yeah. Okay, let us explain. They updated the graphic. How are they going to do Are they going to have like six seats at the class trial for all of these to just sit there the whole time? Mm -hmm. uh, like, are we going to have a class trial and it's just going to be a banter between all the monocups and Monokuma? But you haven't explained what the black end is. Again, who is the mother? Uh huh. That's what I want to know. Until the next murder. It's so weird that Monokuma has kids that are doing a lot of the work now. Yeah. Like, this is child labor, right? Some laws being broken somewhere. <laughs> Them's. Okay. Oh. Um, Eddie. <laughs> ah, too much. That explanation. Exp that explanation revealed way too much. You gotta be more coy, flirtatious, seductive, just like your old man. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah. The point is, it's not enough to kill someone. You also have to survive the class trial. Kill without being caught, and then survive the trial. I've survived trials. No one is coming after me. The trials have survived. Sounds eerily similar to the real world. You think so? Then the outside world must be masterfully designed, even at its cruelest. Listen. One could likely imagine, but I shall ask just in case. What is the punishment you mentioned earlier? Simply put, it's an execution. Execution? Oh boy, that's, uh, I, it's weird seeing the updated graphics, right? Yeah. Of like older scenes. We live in a society. Okay. It is nice having this voice from one coming back, though, isn't it? I wonder what kind of punishments they'll be. Lots of bloody guts and brains, I bet. The kind of stuff that gives me a raging boner. Uh, what? Monica, you already have a boner. Why was you looking? Yeah, I'm so hard right now. Blood, guts, brain. <laughs> what? That's a vomiting noise, apparently. Oh, okay. Oh, and Ari just pooped. Pooped. Poop, you you said pooped? <laughs> oh, I'm tired. I'm so freaking hard. Huh? Puke gives you a bone or two? <laughs> you kids are just adorable. Getting way into this. <laughs> what the hell's cute about that? All right, I'm over all this boring exposition. Let's get this hard pounding killing school semester started already. Oh boy. Oh my Oh my god. You are miming <laughs> this. Is that a thing? We're gonna joker? We live in a society? 
It's like Joker from that movie Joker. He's a bit more Mickey Mouse. You know what I mean? Like, it's very high-pitched. I know. I'm, I've noticed that. And I'm thinking maybe that's on purpose. Because if Junko is finally oh. actually... If finally Junko's gone. That's why if Junko does show up at some point, I'm just going to be like, you motherfuckers. <laughs> Killing school semester. It's like a game. You're risking our lives for some silly game. Absurd. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. <laughs> I'm starting to die a bit now from these two hours. It doesn't seem like it'll be boring though. Hey, how can you degenerates be so calm? It's to be a lie, right? It's a lie, right? A lie. More like fiction. Like a story on TV. A scenario so removed from reality we can hardly believe it's happening. I don't want to be in a killing game. It's wrong. I never do that. No, you're wrong. Boo <laughs> Well, if you don't want to participate in the killing game, that's going to be a problem. Because the killing game is the only reason you're here. What? Now then, unleash your talent and have a happy, homicidal, horrific, hilarious killing game. Oh, Wait just a minute. Oh. Hmm. No matter what you say, we won't do it. We'll never participate in the killing game. Whatever you have planned, I'm not going to let you get away with it. Katie, you shouldn't just rashly defy that thing. No, no, I welcome her resistance. That kind of defiant spirit is important to the killing game. It's fun to watch the defiant ones eventually snap and get their hands dirty. What? Well, what do you mean by that? Everyone loves that kind of brutality in a death game, especially me. It never gets old. It's so fun and entertaining that I just get unbearably pumped up. Plus, as the headmaster, it's my job to force you to do it. <laughs> oh, I've missed Monokuma. <laughs> I've missed just the banter. The fact that it's Monokuma Monica. times six. Yeah. Like, now it's just like... All oh, right, that we are just gonna have like Monokuma. This is basically just an excuse. I, I assume this is because there's no Monomi in this game. That Monokuma needs someone else to bounce off. I, I guess that they yeah. learned that in the second game that Monokuma does better with bouncing off other mascots. So yeah. like, let's just make other Monokumas. Oh. We stood in dumbfounded silence, surrounded by the squealing laughter of Monokuma and his cubs. Everything about the situation was so messed up. An academy surrounded by a giant wall. Sixteen ultimate students trapped inside. Mysterious stuffed bears and deadly weapons. And new friends forced to play some killing game. It all felt like something out of a sadistic work of fiction. A sadistic story, no different from reality itself. And against my will, I was now a character in that story. Dun dun dun! Is this the end of the prologue? Oh! I'm going to turn this music up for us for that theme <laughs> because it's a banger. It's more jazzy. It is more they jazzy. They jazzed up the theme, <laughs> didn't they? Did, 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 yeah. This is some fucking James Bond shit. You see that with I the, know, that's what I was with thinking the gun too. chamber. When I first heard the music, I Yo, thought James Bond. This is so cool. It's elevator music. Why is it all jazzy? I love this. I, again, don't know who he is. Definitely giving Nagito vibes, though. Yeah. The fuck? They had a lot of fun with this, didn't they? That was a Hatsune Miku! You saw that, right? Yeah. The other cosplayer has a Hatsune Miku wig! Um. The fucking animators for this opening went ham. Ooh, that mask, That was a cool though. mask. Jo <laughs> Just fucking Joestar shit. Okay. I, I am so here for this. I wasn't sure what I'd think of all these characters and starting a new game because it's always difficult. But yeah, like, it is difficult to start out with. Yeah, and but you know, out we'll the always voices. Get into it. Monokuma. Oh, and, and all, all of the dangling. Okay, so I wonder where she got her idea from. I don't know. You think it, it might have come from this? I, mean, I don't know because when I asked her about what her experience with Danganronpa was, she's like, not much, oh. but she knows what it is. So maybe she's just seen the visuals. I don't maybe. Know. 
because of the you know the current that's a cool commission that we're working on. Yeah, it's weird that everyone's made out of, like letters and stuff as well. Yeah. Uh, his shirt. Oh, that was cool. The visual with the eyes. Yeah. But the dude's shirt was moving. Like the, the Nagito like guy. I can't remember his name. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Dude, that was so good. <laughs> that was like the best intro. Oh my god. I got... So is that the prologue done? It took three yeah. episodes to get through the <laughs> prologue. Jesus Christ. Uh, this was a long prologue. Yeah, Stay the in present. the present. Save. I would like to save, yes. Well, I think it's time that we end this episode here. Yeah. Um. So I am going to cut in your thank yous from the last episode of all our lovely, lovely, lovely channel members. So I will play that now. Um. Thank you, Wet Gibbs, Ghost, Halloween Yanfi, Acer, it was me, Dio49, Nuts, Infernal Aussie. Beetle Kite, I am someone. GB Rio Thesley, Lazy Crow, Mimin, Scorpion Core Universe, Neo Data, Samia, Baversi Baveris, Duo Cat, Bruh Moment, Mr. Svanes, Everett Merrill, It's the Boki, Bochi in Shadow, and last but not least, Timothy Nasu. So, yeah, thank you again to everyone that is a channel member, and thank, thank you to everyone that likes, subscribe, and leaves comments. I'm sure that all of you have got a lot of comments to be leaving on these videos as we uh, explore this game and get things wrong and need to be corrected or have so many infinite questions or just tell us about, you know, your favorite characters and shit so far. But I'm sure we're going to get some cool moments, you know, and if there's secrets that we need to be like hinted towards, like with previous games, like mainly the secret bathroom scenes and weird stuff like that for, 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 the, 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 for the lady, of course. That you you like the secret bathroom scenes secret that was in Dan tunnels. in like Danganronpa one, yeah. Where you were so upset there wasn't any anime. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, "Where's my fan service?" <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. And remember, you can get episodes early by becoming a channel member, becoming an ultimate fan. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. -bye.